events exist in all types of system modules. The purpose of events is to let developers modify 1C programs by implementing additional actions where needed. In fact, events are procedures, but each event has its own name. Consider the list of events in an application module. Go to Procedures and Functions. Now, to go to this icon to view the list of all available events. The events for which procedures are not yet available are in angled brackets. Now, we distinguish two types of events on before. Events before are executed before the desired action starts. For example, before exit. A click on the close button sets event before exit active, thus preventing the respective application from closing as long as the event is running. It can be helpful in cases when you don't want to let users close your application. Events on are executed right after completion of the desired action. For example, on start. The event starts right after the application launches. Let's analyze syntax of event before start. Procedure before start cancel. Insert handler content. End procedure. There is an optional parameter cancel that allows canceling an action that follows the event. Cancel is of type boolean. So let's assign true to it. And then try to run the application in the 1C Enterprise mode. Nothing happens. We have cancelled the start of the application. It can be useful in cases when we don't want employees to close the application before the end of their working day. We calculate end time of the current working day by subtracting 6 hours from the end of the day, 11.59, 59pm. Function. Current date returns not only the actual date, but also the actual time. In this case, we prevent employees from closing the application as long as the current time is less than the end of the working day. We also set up a warning message. 